hello everyone, this is Reza Rad and uh, I'm here at Microsoft Ignite uh, in Chicago and here is Mo from Power BI Team. Hello Mo, how are you? Hey, very, very good. It's great to be here, Reza. Thank you. Thanks for your time. I really appreciate that. Can you introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. Hey everyone, my name is Mohammed Ali and I'm the GPM for the Power BI Team. And so my team specifically look after is all the self-serve experience, all the desktop experiences and the service experiences for reports, dashboards, and also we look after Copilot. Awesome. That's good. And that includes Power BI desktop and desktop, uh, service. And the service, yeah. Right. Uh, so, so what are the features that you are like recently announced and you're excited about it? Yeah, so let me go through my like my, my top like uh, five uh, items that I really enjoyed. So yep. my first one was the community feature, dark mode. I think we did an that amazing was fantastic. job. We had I this really person like that. that kept commenting on the blog every day oh, yeah, saying when was... is my eyes gonna stop bleeding yeah, from that all was, the light. That was, yeah, and so it was mode. really cool. <laughs> uh, and then we've got I, I, look I wanna keep keep doing these community features. I really love the energy you guys give us when we release these features. Thank you. Uh, so thank you so much for that. The next feature I want to announce is we are trying to get to parity with web modeling and the service. And so we're really trying to make sure that we can bring all the great things from desktop into the web. Right. And so we're going to be bringing hopefully the Power Query experiences into the web as well at some point. That is cool. And so you'll get complete parity in the right. web. And here's Patrick as well. I'm, I'm Patrick. <laughs> 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 no worries, no worries, no worries. It's, a, it's all good. Uh, the third feature that I want to go through is we released at the Ignite today. Yes. We went through Trans Analytical Apps, which allows you to do right back and do many scenarios where you can just have a, a fabric function be called That's via awesome. a, a, a Power BI button. And this is going to unlock so many options for you guys to do great, amazing, amazing Power BI reports that do so many cool things. And this is going to be an amazing feature that I really that, think is that good. Was, that was awesome. That was really exciting because like, I recorded it, I posted the video, and everyone was excited. Now yeah, we have yeah, the right-back right capabilities. And, and before that, we had to combine a lot of things together yeah. to bring like power apps and combine it with and, like a database. No, no more anymore. No and more it anymore. wasn't really that intuitive. Yeah, exactly. But this was really intuitive. And you demo. had separate licenses as well. Now yes. it's all in one license. That is right. And and what is like the time frame for something like so, that? So uh, uh, I think about three to six months is when we're planning to release it. Right. Um, stay tuned. But like we'll probably announce it. Maybe at a, uh, I'll give you better, more closer demo right. over, over our next conferences coming up as well soon. Right, okay, that, that sounds good. And we have a conference coming yeah, up Yeah, we have FabCon yeah, Vegas, Vegas coming up, so yeah, maybe, is, maybe we'll be there. So that be is really coming cool. soon. And what are, what are the things that you have in the roadmap for, for Power BI? Yeah, so, so when I think about the roadmap, I think about web modeling, which is a one big one right. investment. We've got version history as well coming for web modeling. So right. now you can get the same office-like behavior that you got inside Office, now directly inside Power BI. Um, if I think so about we, some of the... So that is without Git integration, just the version history. Version history itself. directly inside Power right, BI. that is cool. And so if you edit the model accidentally, you'll get the version history, just like you would in Office, you can roll back to a previous that version. That is really amazing. So, and you can also see who made that change as well. Wow, so you can blame that, them is, as well. that is perfect. Um, we've got a lot of Git uh, integration coming as well. Right. So we're going to have full Git integration with Power BI. That's going to GA, mm -hmm. and you'll have every single Power BI artifact gettable. Right. And that's going to be amazing. Um, we've got a bunch of Copilot capabilities. We're just improving the accuracy of Copilot and really making sure Copilot can really save you time for the full experience. Right. And some of the more community-led features, I do want to look at some of the community features that you guys have given us feedback to. Mm. So some of the community features that I think you guys have shared with me recently is um, the ability to use multi-window and desktop, a feature that I want us to fund. You guys gave yes. us feedback in the last FabCon. So I really want us to focus on that experience and bring that in. Yeah, that is that is going to be amazing. That means that in Power BI Desktop, I can have my model view in one, yeah. in one screen and my visualization in another screen. Absolutely, that and, is that is fantastic. And so again, these are on the top. These are on the top like community ideas, the hot topics, as you guys right. say. So we are reviewing these items. We look at them every uh, like every month to go through them. And this was the top one that we are currently reviewing right now. So right. hoping we can give you some more information on that. That is cool. Thank you. And and the other thing is the co-pilot experience that we have in the service that you can do across reports and things yes. like that. Let's so, talk about so, that. So yeah, so we've got this thing called immersive copilot or global copilot on home. And this will allow you to search through all of your experiences uh, through the experience. Uh, and so like, you can ask a question and you can say, hey, Copilot, help me find where this is, like my sales report. Mm. And it'll search all the things you have access to and it brings you the result directly there. And not only will it search the, uh, all the things in Power BI, <laughs> but also search the things in Fabric. So if you have an AI skill, right. it'll also search the things in the AI skill and bring that in, into that, that same cool. experience. That is cool. And you have a name for this feature. Uh, what do you call it? Satya feature? Oh, oh yeah. So, so we also <laughs> announced a, at the conference today, we also announced Fabric Copilot capacities or Fabric AI. Right. Right, yes. And I call this the Satya feature. 
And the reason why is, is when we were creating this feature, Satya sent us an email saying, is why is it when I can use Copilot on one workspace, I can't use it on the other? And the reason why he had this issue was, he had one on a pro workspace right. and one on a, on a premium workspace. Right, yes. And the premium workspace worked, but the pro workspace didn't. Right. And so the Fabric AI capacity allows you to attach a capacity to a user. And so right. now wherever Satya goes, he can use Copilot. Correct. And I call this a Satya feature. Satya feature. That's a, that's a really cool feature. Yeah. Awesome. That's, that's great. Thank you for working all of the, on all of these amazing yeah. features. Uh, what is the best place for people to get in touch with you, uh, give you feedback? Yeah, for sure. Um, so I would say post on the community forums, post yeah. on ideas, mm -hmm. send us messages, send us emails. Like we are very, very responsive. I try to be. We're also on Twitter, mm -hmm. Reddit, Blue Sky, you name it. Oh, no, some of us are also on TikTok as well. So right. if you want to reach out to us, we're more than available to talk to. We will love your feedback. We love to engage with you guys. And again, like the reason why Power BI has done so well is thanks to, to all the community members that made it possible for them. Awesome, awesome. Thank you. It was no really nice. Thank you so much, and Thank you for the great job you are doing. No worries. Thank, thank you, guys. You. Thank you. Guys. Bye, everyone. Thank you.